How's it going guys? Cheese here at Cheese on Everything here on Lake Kuchiching. It's been a late, late start for the season, but uh, we got some new gear that we're testing out. We got the new Clam uh, X600. This is a insulated six to eight person tent. And uh, we just set up the tent. We'll be here all night. Oh, Lee, this guy caught something already. <laughs> a rock bass? Uh, yeah, rock bass. First cast. I haven't even done the intro yet and he's already caught a fish. That's a good sign. Uh, we, are, we just drilled two holes. It's about 11 inches deep. We got some big shiners in there. There's so much space in here. It's ridiculous. I can even put the uh, whole sled in the tent now. This is a hexagonal tent. It's got six sides and a roof. It's got windows on every single panel and two doors, one on each side. It's got air vents on four of the sides. Really nice layout. And uh, it's got pockets here for storage. And it's even got a big mesh pocket up here. And one on the other side as well. And uh, these pucks, you can actually get accessories for them. Fishing rod holders and lamps and stuff like that. The uh, sale 4P I had was good for two people, but anything more than that, it was kind of crammed. This, as you can see, has a lot of space. So we got the heater going. It is warm in here. So other than the tent, we got a couple more things to test out. Let me just get set up here and I'll show you what we got. This year we got some new baits that we're going to try out and a new rod as well. Uh, we got the Kalins Crappy Grubs in four different colors. We got the Grumpy Grubs. And then we got the Meeks Jigs that everyone says works really well. And some spoons. And we got two Acme Gliders. And new rod for this year, we got the Daiwa 28 inch. This is the medium. And it's uh, coupled with the Pissy Fun Carbon X 500 series reel. And uh, on here I got the Rapala UV light for uh, glow baits. We got five pound uh, braid on four pound floral on this reel. We got a pretty clear bottom. It's about nine to 10 feet of water. Ice is pretty deep. We got about five or six inches of black ice and about four or five inches of white ice on top. Pretty safe. This time we got another new toy and it's an underwater camera. And as you can see, there are already fish right under us so that's a good sign there are so oh, many oh my god he just striked it here we go there's a big one. Oh my god there uh, uh, oh oh he struck your bit um the weight oh my god go for it there we go nice nice oh that's a dink <laughs> oh my Whoa. god so many big ones. Oh my god. Oh yes. Got it. <laughs> I caught that one. Nice. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Three. <laughs> Yo, get your rods, man. <laughs> no, I'm too busy filming, guys. <laughs> there are so many fish down there. This is crazy. There's a whole school coming through. Oh, that's a fatty. That, that's a fatty. Look at the rod. That's a fatty. Oh, 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 that's a jumbo. Yes. Damn. <laughs> oh my gosh. Shit. Oh my god. That's a fatty. Yes. Finally got some jumbo perch. Oh, Meanwhile, I'm still tying my line. <laughs> oh my god. There's a big one coming oh. right to you. Oh my Two god. Two big ones. Dude, get your rod, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, come on. <laughs> Strike it right, buddy. All right, so we're testing a new setup today. We got the Williams Wobbler. But instead of just a treble hook that it comes with, I've tied it with... Uh, about a six inch leader 
onto a tiny little hook, which uh, we're gonna put a minnow on. Spoon's gonna attract all the fish to come in, and then down here we'll have the minnow to actually cause the bite. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, finally got one. Dink. Dink. <laughs> <laughs> Always a dink. Oh, at least I'm not skunked. It's so warm today, it's like creating a puddle here in our tent. So we're gonna have to. We moved about 10 to 15 feet over and drilled new holes. Straight, straight. Oh. Oh, yes! Nice. Yes! Oh, yeah. not that big. Ooh! Just needs to straighten the Yeah, got one. Another dink. Oh my god. That's the Nice. That one's a really good one. Ooh. That's a good size. Good size. It's a pretty big perch. Oh, no. We'll cut another one on the 13 fishing mini bug. Tiny little perch. So the slab grabber is definitely too big for the perch to bite. They just look at this bait and then they just turn around. Don't want to eat it. So I'm going to switch to something smaller. I am going to use the VMC Tungsten Butterfly Bugs. It's like the simple bug, but it's got a little bit of feathers on it. So let's see if that works. Where's my thing? <laughs> be good, be good. Yeah. A little small. Yeah. Well, the bite's a little bit cooled down right now. So I got the sweet and sour pork from Alpine Air. I'm gonna try this out. Got the jet boil minimal, really compact. And we're gonna cook ourselves some lunch. Definitely tastes kind of funky. Not used to eating these uh, freeze dried meals. Does it taste like sweet and sour pork? Not really, but it's filling nonetheless. It's got 640 calories, and you just gotta add two cups of water. Oh, you got it. That's a you got biggins. it. Yo, that's a vegans right there. What is that? Oh, that's a bass. That's bass. <laughs> Nice. Good size bass. Caught a bass. Not bad. I guess, I guess the bite is starting again. Yeah, night time. Night time bite. Let's go. Now coming to it towards you. It's a big right. one. Oh, yes. Nice. There yes. you go. Yes, finally. Told you. That's the one. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It went straight to it. Nice. Yes. Finally a decent sized one. The light is working. Nice. Nice. Got another one. <laughs> All right. We're going to pack up. Uh, Caught a bunch of perch, not too bad for the day. No big jumbo ones, but uh, a couple of decent size. I hope you liked this video. Uh, hit the like button if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.